electric tanger towing a Tesla because the charging stations don't work correctly. I'm just gonna do a walk around real quick because customer has left and she was kind of mad. It has some that's obviously been curved. There's yellow on the on the rim of that wheel there. Some scratches. This may just end up being a walk around for us because I'm going to be very as detailed as possible. This rim has also been curbed here and down here. This sticks out a little bit here. I don't know if that's factory or not, but not us. This, this one has also been curbed. Yep. And here, here, of an electric car but this tends to be a problem sometimes do you need me to watch you get out of this parking lot i don't think so all righty are we done with the camera unless you want to say anything no just uh charging teslas can sometimes be difficult What's even more interesting is that their insurance provider, their roadside assistance, told us to take it to Walmart. Walmart does not have a Tesla charging station. At least I don't think they do. I haven't seen one. They were just they were just figuring that Walmart would be a a place that would have one. They just uh, and they just want to pass you off to to whatever, and it's not always. Do your research, you know. Um, these insurance companies are just, they're just there. They're, yeah, some of them are not even from anywhere here to your Walmart. location. Nowhere near where your disablement location is. These, these, some of these people might be in California or Canada or uh, they might not be even in this country and they're mm -hmm. dispatching you. So they don't know anything about where you're trying to go. So it's always a good idea to not turn left down the parkway on a Friday night <laughs> okay. and uh, never listen to your wife. Uh, <laughs> but no guys, it's like, it's just not a good idea. Do your do your homework on where you're trying to get your car to. 
because a lot of times these folks are just uh, they're just here to tell you to get you off the phone. They're going to dispatch somebody, or, you know, make it so you're not their problem anymore. Basically, yeah, they're trying to take them to a quick station that doesn't exist. So we're going to get over here to the Tesla hub. They've got a really nice charging station over there by the island. So we're going to go over there and see if we can get these folks dropped off. Get them some juice. Yeah. And they were upset that we were not in a rollback. Yes. Like all Tesla owners. Mm -hmm. Always upset because the rollback's not coming and hooking a big J hook to their plastic front bumper and oh, dragging God. it up on the bed and sounds like a great idea. Mm. It's way less invasive. We're here teaching. We're here teaching one car at a time. One Corvette, one Tesla, one low rider at a time. How amazing this auto loader and dollies is. We'll eventually teach them all. <laughs> the Teslas are heavy. I realize that those batteries are so heavy in the back. So I like put this thing up on dollies and I'm doing the break over for the dolly bars and that was like the equivalent of a Yukon really? for <laughs> breakover pressure for me anyway. Huh. In the seat of my pants <laughs> <laughs> pressure monitor system. You felt that one, huh? Yeah, I was like, golly, that thing's heavy. <laughs> Or you just been loafing around all day long. That's what it is. My arms are tired for polishing on my 90s model Mustang glass. <laughs> Bringing the 90s back. My glass looks good though. It does. You'll have to show. Yeah. I'll have to get a picture of that. The glass had a bunch of water spots on it. I've tried multiple products and Chemical Guy and Hot Vinegar and scrubbing bubbles and come on out there i tried all kinds of stuff that did not even touch the water spots on my glass the 93 cobra had some tough ones but i end up getting some little buffing pads from amazon for glass that attaches to your your cordless drill or your corded drill it really wouldn't matter i guess until the cord was beaten on the side of your door as you're doing the glass corded never do it cordless is the way to go um but anyway i got it i got those little pads on there and i just used some 3m 3m compound for paint put that on those little wheels and polished it looks great took 90 percent of it out took 99 percent of it out on everything but the back the back glass has been a tough one i guess it must have had years of sitting under a sappy tree or something Maybe the angle too, because it just has baked on. It's kind of flat. Yeah. The rest of them are up and down. Maybe. Yeah. Hobbies. Gotta have them. Alrighty, guys. Stay tuned. We'll show you what a Tesla-approved charger looks like in just a bit. Okay, guys. We are here. Uh, we got this gal dropped off back here. Yep, she's charging. We are over at. Flavortown, which we still haven't made it in here to show you guys what downtown Flavortown is all about. And I can't wait to get in there and get some food, but right next door is the Tesla approved charging station. And they are fancy and like she plugged in and and within 30 seconds was already up to like 10%. Yeah. Uh, so these are the big daddy of chargers and they do work fantastic and it is across from the island or in the parking lot of downtown Flavortown. So keep that in mind if you have your Tesla EV vehicle looking for a place to, uh, this is going to be crazy. Hmm. I'm not sure everybody can fit on this aisle. Making room. But anyway, guys, we've got that figured out and uh, she's gonna charge and I'm gonna go eat and recharge. I'm always talking about eating. <laughs> what are your favorite things to eat? Anyway, guys, stick around. More coming your way. Yep, that's it. I'll turn this vehicle. Just right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. really 
bad. Wheels are turned really sharp. It's front wheel drive anyway. Okay. Dolly. Okay. Well, good thing is we don't have to take a car.
this new bartender chick has been here last year doesn't quite get it. I've been here 27 years. We park here usually to about three or four, but then we get out before the customers come. As you can see, there's not a parking issue right now. Got you. At all. <laughs> there's her car, the one that you're talking to, and mine. Other than that, there's not a car in here. So when I did my lease, I was like, look, it's cool to park at least in the day to like three or four, right? Get it out before, of course, the evening people come. In case we're dropping off or you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the whole story. She's not quite getting what we're talking about. Of course we don't park here when there's people. You know what I mean? Yeah. In February on a on a Thursday when there's not one person in this whole town, you gotta go to the parking garage? No. They're like, no, it's cool. So you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I do. I'll pay you out. Yeah, I get it. I, I get mean it. she's my employee. I told her she could park there, but I'm just saying yeah. that's for me and them to deal with, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately they didn't. They call me to do a job. I don't yeah, I watch the channel all the time. Yeah, it's good, it's good stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah we just we're, we're just doing these jobs. So uh, I'll fix you up. This isn't this isn't your thing. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Bye. Right. Yeah, good to see you. Hey, good to see you, brother. I'll get a ticket. So, I guess we've been the rules for. I mean, this is a Saturday. It's this Saturday, is Saturday at June. one o'clock. Tomorrow's Father's Day. And the town is completely packed. So to bend the rules for it's not a Thursday in February. Yeah, it's definitely not. So you know, she she was told not to park here, and and uh, she's been told several times what the property owner told us. Mm -hmm. So uh, she just you know she wants it gone, and he's wanting to make a very wide exception to the rule. There's a sign right there. You see it. Yeah, we can do the 
tow it. It's on. Okay, yeah, just let us know if we can help. Just real quick. Signs. 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 Hey guys, sorry about that. Phone calls keep coming. So here's my thing. If she's eating over there, why is she not parked over there? She should be parked over there if she's eating there. Yeah, she's still trying to say she's gonna be out of the way if she's eating over there. Um, but the thing it is, she's taking up somebody else's parking spot whenever she's eating at the pizza place. Yeah. But him his argument there's nobody else here isn't that kind of the argument we ran into a lot well there's nobody using it right now why can't i yeah why can't i use it yeah yeah it is Customer didn't want to be a customer, was a customer. <laughs> <laughs> Gatlinburg, Gatlinburg guys. Yeah. We, yeah, we get that a lot where people say, well, I either they they used to work there or they're not working right now, but they still take advantage of the privilege for the parking and uh it's uh, just not a good thing to do. I know the owner. The owner told me I could park here. I have permission to park here. Like, no. You really don't. And then you've got, you've got multiple people that are griping and complaining about it. So you've got one guy that owns the property, but then you've got five stores mm -hmm. that enforce their individual parking so they all think that just because the one guy gives them permission to do something I mean it's that they're on the lease and they have control over their parking lot so sometimes it can get a little tricky and and they like to they like to argue a lot of those so it looked to me like Elks was the main not just the Elks Plaza, but Elks, the Elks Lodge that's up there was the main property that was up there and what, that they have control over the parking lot. Yeah, they've got all of their signage right there mm -hmm. and it's huge, bold. Here's what you do, here's what you don't do. They called us. Um, it's just, uh, it's just the way it is. Yeah. She just got caught. She was, you know, she wanted to use all the excuses of, you know, that she was eating there or she used to work there or she was unloading rock and they said,
said that she could. She well, said she still worked there. That was a couple of days ago that she was unloading rock. And it didn't look to me like she was just, you know, parked there for a little bit because they called us and it took us. Oh, it took me hot. 45 minutes to get over yeah. here. So. I was going to say a hot so, minute. Hard telling how long she was there before they called us, so I'm going to guess a couple hours anyway. Probably. It's not an easy task to get over here. Uh, and it's definitely not an easy task to get out of here, as you guys can see. <laughs> Traffic people and... But I get it. I do. You're there. You don't want to walk. You're over here every day. You're frustrated about the parking. So when a spot comes, you just... I'm not going to walk for six or eight blocks to get up here to my place well he said that all of his employees have tickets for the parking garage well, so see, that makes it easy mm -hmm. like why is she not in the parking garage yeah yeah that makes that just yeah they give them a place a free place to park in the parking garage she just doesn't want to she doesn't want to go to the parking garage and walk but it is packed guys definitely not a thursday in february Parking would be at a prime. And we did have a, a viewer come up and say hi to you. Sorry to him that we weren't able to talk to him a little bit more. Yeah, that's cool. Appreciate the followers and the watchers. Mm -hmm. All the support. We may get out of it downtown I'm not sure we're gonna try I'm sure we'll be back it's very early on a Saturday